and welcome to PsyQ. At long last, pardon the pun, the first lab-grown penises are available to be stitched onto their human hosts. And content warning, this video does contain images of penises, so if you're under the age of 18 or you just don't like penises, please stop watching. Scientists at the Institute of Regenerative Medicine have been growing human body parts for years. The first lab-grown vaginas were put into their human hosts a number of years ago, and since then all the girls who've received their artificial vaginas are going well and have reported normal sex lives. But never before have scientists attempted to attach lab-grown penises to human hosts. Although there are five lab-grown penises in a lab somewhere in America, just waiting for FDA approval. Once the FDA approves the penises, they'll be attached onto their human hosts. You may ask, how does one grow a human penis in a lab? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's kind of difficult. First, you need a donor penis, usually from a dead subject. But because the body is really good at rejecting foreign material, you can't just attach the donor penis onto the human subject. First, you have to strip out most of that penis's cells and regrow them using a sample from the donor. The sample is then cultivated to grow into the different types of sex cells, including the smooth muscle cells and the endothelial cells, the cells that make up the blood supply, which is very important in a penis. While scientists haven't yet put a lab-grown penis on a human, they have successfully done this in rabbits. 12 penises were grown and attached onto their bunny subjects. Eight of the 12 bunnies successfully ejaculated and four of them had their own bunny babies. Lab-grown penises may kind of sound like an X-rated movie title, but it's actually very serious. These lab-grown penises will be able to make a huge improvement in the quality of life of people who have had genetic abnormalities, penile cancer, or who've had suffered a traumatic injury. Unfortunately, this procedure is not available to help patients who are after a sex change because you do need male genitalia cells to be donated in order to grow the penis. It may still be a number of years before those lab-grown penises can be approved and attached to their human subjects, but I'm sure we'll hear all about it when they finally are. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.